Today's episode on Stop for Garage is actually of my own personal Land Rover LR4. This is our car that we use to shuffle around all of our children. And as you guys watch all these before shots, you can definitely tell that, you know what, our kids do make messes. We try to minimize it as much as possible, but sometimes it just happens, especially since I haven't cleaned this car for actually a good solid six months. I've been working on everybody else's cars, but my own personal car, which, you know what, it happens. But I want you guys to follow along with me as I clean my own personal vehicle and go to some extreme ends to make this thing look like brand new again. And to begin this process, it's time to get all of the big trash out, all the car seats out, and get everything out of the vehicle that is not bolted down. And in typical Stoffer Garage fashion, it's time to rip out the middle and the front seats to give us access to everything that is hiding underneath them. Not only does ripping out the seats show all the dirt that I would have not been able to get to before, but also it gives me the opportunity to pull out carpet, different trim panels, and everything to make sure I do as thorough of a job as possible. I need you guys to comments below. Have you ever pulled the carpet or seats out of your vehicle before? If you have, comment down below and let me know. And if you just think I'm plain old crazy, let me know in the comments below as well. I was actually really stoked that when I pulled out the driver's seat, I actually found all of the cigarette lighter plugs that I've lost since we bought the car and they have resurfaced because I pulled out the seat. So that is one advantage to pulling them out because you'll probably find things that you didn't realize you lost that are hiding underneath there. Now this sort of level of detail of removing the seats and the carpets and things like that, I would not obviously think that everybody has to do this every single time they clean their car. I've never done this with this specific vehicle, so doing it once kind of will give me about a two to three year gap before I have to do it again. One interesting thing about the carpet in this vehicle is that it actually sheds. It's kind of a weird thing, like as the kids climb in and out, especially these middle seats when they're folded down, but by just using my Lily brush, it does make the carpet look better because it took out all of those loose strands that were on the surface.
Now this vehicle doesn't have cloth floor mats. It actually has these WeatherTech floor mats put in it. And these do need to be replaced because they're starting to fold over in certain corners. But overall, my carpet looks amazing considering how bad my kids can be in the back of this vehicle. And to clean these WeatherTech mats, I'm just using a general all-purpose cleaner from Chemical Guys, Chemical Guys All Clean in particular, and my drill brush to kind of scrub and get all the dirt off that plastic surface. Now by removing this whole center carpet section, it's given me access to not only clean every single part of it a lot easier because it's now pliable and not attached to the metal floor, but since it is now getting hotter and sunnier outside, I'm gonna be able to leave this carpet outside in the sun to dry very, very thoroughly. As you're watching this video, if you have any questions about what products I use, I always link them in the description box below. So feel free to check those out and pick up the products that I use in this video. Now for the leather seats, I'm just using my bristle brush, which you guys can pick these up at foxclean.com, and my all-purpose cleaner to get all of the grease, all of the dirt that gets ingrained into leather off the surface before I use my leather conditioner to protect it and to keep the leather soft and from cracking.
Now, if you do have a drill brush, there are different stiffnesses that you can get. Typically a medium one I use for all of my carpet inside the vehicle, but a soft one you can use on your leather if you have some deeper ingrained dirt, or if you wanna speed up your process because it's so gentle that it won't scratch the surface. Now for the steering wheel and the dashboard, this is where these bristle brushes come in handy, especially with all the different nooks and crannies. I'm just gonna be using my all-purpose cleaner and my brush and a clean microfiber towel to wipe down and clean up all of the surfaces on the center console and the dashboard.
Now I have this new tool that I'm trying out from Stoner's Car Care. You guys know that I love Invisible Glass. This is a product that they have on their lineup that is helpful for getting into all of the different corners and especially the windshield against the dashboard. I've never used this tool before, but I would definitely recommend it if you wanna make it a little bit easier on yourself when it comes to cleaning your glass windows. Now that the whole front of the car is done, I'm gonna go ahead and deep clean all the door panels and clean the glass as well. Now because the carpet is pulled out of the vehicle, it gives me access to all of these different brackets that hold the seats in. And since I do have children that have spilt food and drinks and things like that in between these corners, this gives me a perfect opportunity to scrub the floor and remove any of that grease and dirt and candy and food or whatever is collected there while the carpet's out. Now for the driver and passenger side front carpet, they were not really that dirty because I've had those WeatherTech floor mats down, but there were a few spots that I wanted to clean up and I'm used to using Folex and my bristle brush to take care of those spots. And I would definitely recommend Folex as a quick, easy go-to cleaner for the smaller stains, not the entire surface. So that way you don't have to worry about extracting the entire carpet.
Now the last step in the cleaning process is all of these little plastic trim panels that go around the, all the seat brackets, that go on the trim pieces or on the door sills. Go ahead and clean all these up before I reassemble the entire vehicle. Now once I've reassembled a vehicle after detail, there's always some sort of dirt that gets tracked back in. So this is the perfect opportunity to do a maintenance final vacuuming, but also a great opportunity to make some sweet vacuum lines that just give your detail that little extra edge. And here are the end results of my personal vehicle. I can guarantee that I am going to maximize how long the car looks like this, which inevitably will probably end up back the way it is, sadly, because you know what? That's how kids are sometimes.
So I want to make sure you guys tackle your car this weekend. Use the tips and tricks that I used in my detail. And also share and tag me on Instagram if you guys detail your car. And I want to thank you guys so much for being part of the Stoffer Garage crew. And if you're new and you enjoy these sort of videos, smash that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.